I think every time Ryan Reynolds comes out with a movie, I like him a little bit more and more. And he just went up another notch in my book with this one. So this movie is pretty much a time travel movie, all right? So it takes place in 2022, but it starts out in 2050, all right? So Ryan Reynolds plays Adam. Adam is a pilot in 2050, and he's trying to get to 2018 to make sure that time travel um, um, doesn't get invented. Um, in 2050, there's a female by the name of Maya Sorian who is making everything about her pretty much and breaking rules, time travel rules that she knows um, should be pretty much unbroken, okay? And she's played by Katherine Keener. Now, Adam, um, trying to get back to 2018, he ends up in 2022 instead. Now, when he goes back to 2022, he is met by his younger self, young Adam, who's played by Walker Scobell, okay? And the funny thing is, it's like, the younger self of him is exactly like him. Like they, he, uh, young Adam, he pretty much accepts everything that his older self is telling him and not freaking out at all with his jet that's, you know, sitting in the middle of the sky and can, you know, disappear by the push of a button. All right. So in a nutshell, these two Adams have to work together so that they can get back to 2018 and to make sure that time travel does not get discovered, all right? Now, as Adam, older Adam, is trying to stop what um, what Maya is doing, Maya Sorian, while, while he's trying to stop what she's doing, he's also on another mission as well. Now, he is married. His wife's name is Laura, and she's played by Zoe Zaldana. So a weird thing that you know goes on is when he does go back in time, he actually meets up with his wife, okay? The thing about it is it's a weird situation because if they change the future, which, you know, both of them want to do, it can possibly change their marriage as well. Will they still have met each other? Will they still be married? You know, you know, little tidbits like that. Um, just like anybody says, if you, you mess with time in the past, you know, uh, if F were to actually really happen, um, then you can mess up the future. So, of course, this is not just going to be an easy task. Sorian knows what Adam is trying to do. So she's sending people back in time to capture him. And every time, everywhere he goes, they're right there tracking him down. So they have to get rid of, you know, Sorian's people um, so they can make this mission happen. And, of course, Sorian knows about time travel, too. So she's going back in time. And he's meeting up, you know, with her and trying to get away from her. And, and she's just and she's just manipulating time and, and making it work for her. And she doesn't want anybody, obviously, to um, get in the way of that. Now, what I like about this movie is, is it's like a mixture of E.T., Star Wars. I mean, it's, it's a lot of action, adventure, and actually has a little bit of sentimental points, too. And that's what I like about Ryan Reynolds. I mean, in one sentence, he can make you laugh. And then the next sentence, like, you, you be, you're you about to uh, shed a tear. <laughs> you know, he's a really good actor. One of the scenes that was, you know, kind of sentimental was when he got a chance to, you know, see his mom um, back in 2022. So his mom is uh, played by Jennifer Garner. Her name is Ellie. And she's going through her issues um, with the loss of her husband, who's play, um, her husband, um, Lewis, who's played by Mark Ruffalo. And she's going through a rough patch, and young Adam is going through a rough patch, too. And it was a little sentimental because, you know, they were talking, and, you know, she doesn't know that this is her son. But, you know, explaining to her that Adam uh, loves her, and, and maybe she should talk to him and, and tell him that she's still grieving because, you know, there's a little conflict between a mom and a son just based on emotions and stuff like that. So um, definitely a, a little bit of sentimental parts in the movie along with the comedy as well. And they, and they, they, mixed, they mixed it pretty good. Um, uh, like I said, it was, you know, one point laughter and then another point you're like, oh, man, am I laughing or crying in this movie, you know? So... Uh, it, it was it was good. It was a good mixture. It's directed by Sean Levy. Um, he's worked with uh, Ryan before. 
on Free Guy, and he also worked on Stranger Things as well. So all in all, I think it was a I think it was a good movie. Um, Netflix is is doing a real good job with these um, you know big budget movies with these uh, celebrities and 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 everything. It's it's good to um, have these type of movies on the TV and not always have to go to the theaters if you know if you don't want to. But um. Is it was definitely a good good watch, definitely a family movie. You can watch it by yourself, but also um, it's good if, if the family watches it together. Um, like I said, it's comedy, action, and you know it, it has that little uh, sentimental part as well. Um, that's good for the family members to um, to watch together. So I would definitely give us a thumbs up. Um, it's definitely a movie you can actually watch again. It, it's that much action and, and it's a it's a it's a good it's a good fun watch so check it out uh, let me know what you thought um rate comment subscribe thanks for joining i am the host of irie flicks ronnie g and i will see you on the next episode yeah man.